Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and today we are on to another edition of Miss Universe 2019 Contestants Profile Review and Analysis The Contestants wrote to the Miss Universe 2019 pageant and today we are going to talk about Miss Universe Cambodia 2019 and since Cambodia belongs to the Asia Pacific region in Africa here's my current ranking for that region and this ranking will be updated depending on where will I put Cambodia later and you will see that at the end of this video. So let's talk about Cambodia. Cambodia is actually our little baby in the Miss Universe pageant. They just started competing in 2017 and this year they are sending Somnang Alina. She's 18 years old and she's studying, she's a student currently taking international relations and she actually speaks English very well and I'm very happy to hear it. I actually loved her beauty but my only concern is she looks too young for Miss Universe so I'm not sure if it will work in her favor or might go another way around. Well anyway, in her national pageant she definitely kicked some ass for an 18 years old. She's too young but she did very well. She also looked beautiful and proved why she deserves to win. I also didn't understand her answer during the first round of interview, but she sounded very smart and her and her answer is very very firm. According to the translator, she was asked, what do you want to promote about Cambodia? And her answer was, she wanted to talk about the culture of Cambodia, especially about temples, which have great stories to tell. Well, the translation seems too short because her answer was very long. It is a good answer, but not as impressive as I wanted it to be. But anyway, I still consider it as something good. On the final question, I am glad she was able to take the crown still because she stopped about two times, but she finished her answer by speaking English that as a beauty queen, we all must have beauty and brains and we must be confidently beautiful with a heart. Sounds familiar? Pia words back. And by the way, the question was, do you agree with the statement that education is not important to model or beauty queen because they only need to be beautiful and she said she did she does not agree and then followed by her answer well performance wise she could do very well with consistent trainings i actually see a lot of potentials in her as what i have said earlier my only issue is my only issue with her is she looks too young but performance wise she could actually go a long way as long as she is guided properly with a strong team that would train her in different aspects like interviews, answering questions, developing great and pleasant personalities on stage, and even having conversations, especially it's very important, during the closed door interviews. And to be honest, I liked her very, very much, and I want her to do well in Miss Universe. She's very, very active, especially in talking to her followers in Instagram, which is actually a very smart idea. And I really loved her reaction when she was announced as the winner because you can see in her face that she is really happy and very, very proud of that achievement. So my message to her is that I really wish she'll use all this time to prepare for the pageant, study and focus more on what IMG looks for a contestant and especially for the qualities that the qualifiers have. Study those and work on the things that you need to improve on because that's definitely going to help. Having said that, here's my updated ranking for Asia Pacific and Africa. So as what you can see, my number seven is China. Number six is Cambodia. I actually love China as well. I mean, this is a really, really strong group for Asia Pacific and Africa. I mean, all of them are very, very decent contenders. And you can already make an argument for each of them that they deserve to qualify in the finals. China is my last, but she is so good and got a potential to do well. It's just I also love Cambodia. She is such a sweet young lady. I mean, number five is Sierra Leone. Number four is Nepal. Number three is Malaysia. Two, Indonesia. And my number one is Vietnam. If you want to see my reviews of other contestants, you can just go ahead and check out my channel and watch them one by one. It's all available in there. And if you want to change my ranking, you can just leave your comments down below. What do you think about my ranking? And of course, what do you think about Miss Universe Cambodia 2019? Do you think she will do well? Comment all of it in the comment section below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. So for now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.